So the instant noodle ingredients have been put into this machine and what it's doing is basically acting like a big industrial rolling pin and it uh, takes the, the dough and turns it into a strip, a flat smooth strip of, uh, of dough. And here it comes. Now what's going to happen is this strip of dough is going to go through a few stages of being made thinner. So it comes out right there. And now it's going to be fed into the next machine, which will press it and make it even thinner. The reason this is called a pilot line is this isn't what you would normally see uh, when they produce large amounts of instant noodles. This is basically for scientists and developers and researchers to come up with the exact recipe and method that they want to use. Then it would be translated into something of a much larger scale. And as you can see, it's flattening it even more. And yet again, even thinner. Here we can see Dr. Ho, who led the workshop in short course. What he's doing now is he's running a small piece through this last step. The machine he is at will also do the cutting. And there it's being checked for its thickness with a pair of calipers. Next one. 
Now that the dough has reached the desired thickness, it will go through the final machine that will turn the strip of dough into noodles. We will cut them, and then they will come out at the bottom onto the small conveyor belt. When the blade cuts the ribbon into the noodles, it moves back and forth, and that's how we get the wavy texture. Now, as you can see here, the noodles are traveling up another belt. And now they're going to the next step, which will be a steam bath. The steam is at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. And there they go, and they'll be cooked in the steam bath. And now we're at the other end. The noodles are coming out. And as you can see here, Dr. Ho is cutting them into lengths and then folding them over once. After this is done, they will be weighed and formed. And then they will be deep fried. Here they go into the deep fryer, 
they go in there for about a minute. As I said before, this is a pilot line, so usually in an industrial atmosphere, you'd, you'd find things like n nothing like this. Uh, they would all be going through on a conveyor belt automatically. Uh, doing it this way obviously would take so long to make a pack of instant noodles or two. But this is a great way for food scientists and people in research and development to test out recipes and different things they want to do with noodles. Popped open. And out come the blocks. And so there you have it. From beginning to end, there's how instant noodles are made.